Hello and welcome to Hindsight Tonight. I'm Damian Musiani and here is this week's theme. Enjoy. Take millennial Jordan Willis. He slept for 48 hours straight while his three friends mysteriously froze to death outside his Missouri home last month after the group watched the Kansas City Chiefs, I mean Chiefs, play football on TV. In a scene reminiscent of the current True Detective series on HBO, the trio were discovered in the freezing cold like ice sculptures. Um... Drugs? <laughs> Thank God Captain Obvious is here. Yes, of course. Early tests found cocaine and fentanyl in their systems, a combo that would make even Keith Richards just say no. Authorities chalked the deaths up to natural stupidity after noting that all three decedents were wearing Patrick Mahomes jerseys when found. Legislators in the state of Oregon are trying to repeal their three-year-old drug decriminalization law after what everybody said would happen, happened. Let's take you back to 2020 when snotty Portlandians took to the streets to fight police brutality and discrimination in the war against drugs. The protests worked, and before you knew it, ballot measure 110 to make small amounts of hard drugs legal passed with a 58% majority vote, the first such action by any state in America. Of course, smaller amounts of hard drugs can still kill you, and addiction is something that tends to start off small, right? The new law allows you to possess two grams of coke or meth. That's more than half an eight ball for those of you in the know. A gram of fentanyl laced heroin or 39 oxy pills. Plenty to unalive someone or make them unalive someone else in a drug addict fury. We think that Cheech and Chong might have had a bong hand in creating this legislation. If you're caught with drugs, you get a $100 fine that goes away if you simply call a phone number. With that kind of encouragement, do you think that maybe fentanyl overdose deaths went up in Oregon? It's a foregone conclusion. Yeah, it went up by 1500%. Oregon now has the highest year-to-year -year increase of fentanyl deaths in America, with streets literally packed together with homeless people like a big old pile of ducks and beavers. Trying to find a non-addict there is like looking for a straw of hay in a needle stack. Mission accomplished, but don't stop there, Oregon. Next, you should only employ convicted arsonists to be the new fire chief and force parents to hire pedophiles as babysitters. Sure the subway State guy. lawmakers, seeing that their intentions were heavily cut with Italian baby laxatives, are now working to recriminalize hard drugs later this year. Last year, Hindsight Tonight's Jace Gabowry covered the same kind of drug decriminalization that was passed in Canada, and today he's back with an update. Jace? Hey, good day, Damien. How you doing, buddy? Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do my report, eh? I'm stuck up here on uh, beautiful Lake Warren up on the Cabot Trail up in Nova Scotia, eh? uh, but uh, my camera guy and I, we blew a tire. We're trying to fix it, but uh, we'll get a story to you real soon, okay, buddy? Uh, th thanks, Jace. <laughs> yeah, he's not stoned. Not unlike the kind partying down in New Orleans. Here's the breathtakingly chic and totally not Soviet Cold War looking police headquarters in the Big Easy. Inside, rats have been sneaking into the evidence room and they weren't looking for cheese, according to the ghost of Mr. Howell from Gilligan's Island. The rats eating our marijuana, they're all high, uh, rodent infestation. People shouldn't have to come to their office and see rodent drippings on their desk. Yep, giant rodents have been getting mega high from eating all the marijuana in storage and then going outside to perform numbers from the Broadway musical Hair. Upon further inspection, the rats ate part of every joint found, leaving behind just a bunch of roaches. Cops have been tracking the rat pack, following a trail of Mardi Gras beads directly to the local Domino's Pizza. This is an easy fix. If the police could just bust some criminals trying to smuggle in a ton of strychnine, that would quiet that evidence room right down. Better yet, maybe the cops could just follow the example set by others and just add some cats using Photoshop. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time with more of the best of Hindsight Tonight.